Today we are diving into the topic which is crucial for everyone in tech especially if you are trying to thrive as a software engineer for the next decade. So today we are going to talk about the five skills that will not keep you relevant but will help you to succeed in your career as well. Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. I am Shabbir. If you are new around here, we go through a lot of different stuffs like Java programming, Spring Boot programming, Spring programming, AI programming, Golang, Python, cloud computing and lot more. So the most crucial and number one skill to have for the next decade is adaptability and continuous learning. Now let me tell you about a developer which I worked few years back which he was in our team. For its privacy purpose, let's call him Alex. So Alex was a brilliant at what he did. So he was a master of programming language Java. He used to do each and every solutioning around Java. So what are the problems are there? He used to solve around Java and he was very comfortable working with Java. As he was so comfortable working with Java, he didn't explore any other areas as well. So he was not exploring any other languages, any other frameworks, tools or anything. It was just about any solutioning is there, he was being able to do via Java. But as the tech is ever evolving, companies started shifting towards the new technologies or the other programming languages. And as he was comfortable with Java, he didn't catch up with those new languages and new frameworks. What happened was he was left behind and he couldn't catch up to the new technologies and he couldn't adapt to the new tech and new evolving technologies in the industry. So now as the tech is ever evolving, everyday new tools, new languages, new frameworks, new libraries, everything comes, right? So currently the boom is about AI, ML, machine learning, ML ops, lot more. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you are adapting to all the new technologies. You are learning all those new technologies. So you make sure that you cultivate your mindset in such a way that you ever evolve yourself with all these new technologies. You might be not using it today, but in future you might be using it. Make sure that you spend couple of hours a week or an hour a week to make sure that you are learning all those new technologies. Read some articles, read blog posts, go through some tutorials, whatever is feasible for you. Just make sure that you are learning new things. If you stop learning, then you won't be relevant for the next decade. So learning new things and adapting to new things is a crucial skill that you must have. Next up is the problem solving and critical thinking. So few years back, I was working in one of the projects where optimizing your solution was a critical part of the application or the software. So we were dealing with some bottlenecks around the system where we were not able to scale our system properly. And we tried a lot of solutions and it was really frustrating to come up with a better solution. But here's what I've learned. Good problem solving is not just about coming with a solution, but coming up with the perfect solution, coming up with the right solution that fits that particular problem. There can be multiple solutions to solve that problem, but what is the solution that will solve that particular issue in its unique way? That is something that you need to learn about a problem solving and critical thinking. So what we did was we took a step back and analyzed the problem in a broader aspect. So we understood like what is the problem that we are facing rather than just doing a quick fix. So once we took a step back, it took some time eventually, but we were able to come up with a solution that was catering to that particular problem. So we were not able to just solve that problem, but we were able to massively improve the performance of the application as well. So critical thinking comes as a really important skill to have in your career where you just not solve the problem for that particular problem, but take a broader picture, take a step back and analyzing all the perspectives and then come up with a solution, the perfect solution which fits that problem. Next is the communication and collaboration. So wherever you go, not just in tech industry, communication and collaboration are really important skill to have because whatever you do, you do in a team and you need to make sure that whatever you are doing that needs to be communicated and collaborated with everyone, with all your stakeholders. So what I have generally seen is people work in a team and sometimes there are a lot of communication happening to and fro and sometimes some of the things are missed out and due to that miscommunications what happens is there is something that needs to be developed and something else is developed because of that miscommunication there is a drastic timeline gap or a drastic feature gap right so we need to make sure that the communication and collaboration that we are doing are to the point 
what do i mean by that is you need to make sure that you are working with a team but you need to make sure that whatever you are saying is precise everyone should be able to understand it everyone should be able to grab what you are saying and everyone has to be on the same page with what you are saying it should not be like okay because we are working in a team you need to make sure that everyone are onboarded to that so to do that you need to have a better communication and collaboration skills make sure that you are representing your points you're presenting your views in whatever feasible form that you can display either via text documents charts diagrams whatever is feasible we need to make sure that everyone is able to understand what you're saying and you should be able to listen what others are also saying listening is a first step in communication so listen properly what others are saying and communicate it properly back as well to all the stakeholders so this is a really critical skill in your career where you collaborate and communicate properly with all your stakeholders to thrive you in your career Next step is the time management and organization. We have always thought that, okay, if I have more hours to do, I could have done this better or I could have completed this project, right? But no, everyone has 24 hours only and we need to manage our time. We need to organize our life, time and everything around the 24 hours only. Everyone from all the rich and successful peoples to all the moms and everyone, everyone has the same time and they manage their time very properly so that they are able to do more stuff within that particular time so we need to make sure that we manage our time i make sure that i am able to give my proper 100 percent of the time in my company as well i also dedicate my time towards my youtube channel my courses and also with all the different fun activities so we need to make sure that how we manage our time and how we organize our life as well for everyone, this would be different, but you should know about how you can manage it. So you need to plan each and every things, maybe not 100%, but 80% of the time, you cannot do everything as an ad hoc task, right? So make sure that you learn this habit to plan most of the things so that it will give you a better control over your life and you will get a really healthy life as well. The next step is the empathy and user-centric thinking. It's not just about having just the empathy towards the other people, about having the empathy and user-centric thinking while having the different problem solving or doing solutioning around anything. So if you are building an application or you're designing an application, think in such a way that how users will be able to benefit from it. It's not like, okay, uh, this something is working nowadays. So let's build this uh, solution and it should work. No, you need to cater like how this particular problem will be solved and how users will be benefited from it. So you're thinking in terms of the users. So you're putting yourself in user shoes and with that approach, with that critical thinking, you will be able to understand, okay, what are the pain points user is facing? And if you try to solve that problem, you will thrive in your career not just in your software engineering maybe you're doing business or maybe you are doing any professional skills whatever you are doing doing right so make if you are having the empathy and if you are thinking in terms of the other peoples then you will have the better solutions better understanding about what you are building and what you are trying to solve the problem for so here you have it these are the five skills that you need to have it to thrive in the software engineer for the next decade. So what skills do you think which is really important and crucial for a software engineer? Do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification icon to get the updates about the latest new videos. I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.